god! Oh my dick, it speaks great! Oh my god, it's lost! Oh, it speaks lost! Gentlemen and welcome to a brand new vlog. Today I went on a pilgrimage again back to Belgium after having visited the Foire d'Octobre in Liège a few months ago. Today we are in Genk on the Funfair of May 1st or the Aster Mai Kermis. None of the rides are open yet. Just a little more patience. They seem to take a little bit longer. I always seem to show up early when it comes to Belgian Funfairs. There is a lot of old stuff awaiting us today but also some great stuff. One of these rides being Move It which is very nice. A very good ride. I'm glad that I can experience that again. And also shortly after riding Predator on the different mess at Frankfurt, this allows me to kind of compare them and see which new type ride is better. Also, yes, I'm just casually passing on a bridge because, you know, the best fun fairs are those where you pass on the bridges and also partially build your rides on the bridges. Depending on when they open, this is going to be the first ride I'm going to ride today. Yeah, it looks weird, doesn't it? This is actually not a usual Fabri King loop, which is what everyone would expect. They look very similar too, but this is actually a very unique and one-of-a-kind freak of nature. This at its core is a Sovema rollover, except that during the construction of this rollover, the manufacturer Sovema went bankrupt and so a different manufacturer from Spain called Mundial Park had to finish this, which makes this ride partially original, partially a bootleg of a Fabri King loop. I've heard that this ride is apparently not the most fun to ride, it's apparently very weird, especially the restraint should be very odd on this one. I quite like this ride because on this like red, white, pink gondola cross, it's a gondola that has like graffiti text written on it for the sake of style, which would be fine, except that the text says literally sex party. I do know exactly that I want to ride this gondola or at least sit across from the gondola that says sex party on it. They are already doing preparation so opening the board the stuff and um, let's see when I open I hope very soon because yeah I actually like this shaker type of rides I've already ridden Shake and Roll and Commander both German Mondial shakes but I've now ridden one of the spin-offs or one of the bootlegs and given that this one is just such a odd and unique and outstanding one it makes this very special and interesting I would honestly have preferred if I rode a normal Fabi King loop beforehand unfortunately they are not very easy to come by they aren't exactly rare there's like four of them out there but again they are like traveler in like Western Southern France, which is, I don't think I'm going to ride the King of Grand time soon. So I guess I have this now as a substitution. Yeah, let's wait for them to open and then let's check it out. I have to say, I am actually surprised by the size of this fair. I've been walking all the way from the other end of the fair to right here, just to, you know, get a little bit of the overview. And I'm surprised it actually takes quite some time to get from one end to the other. I'm surprised that this isn't actually the biggest fan in Belgium and instead the Foire d'Octobre in Liège. Even though I swear the Foire d'Octobre is not as big as this. This is a very long continuous path. There's still nothing happening on Shaker, but Speed has already turned on lights in the street test trunk. And also I can see that Crazy Dance actually has already commenced operation. More on that later though. Let's hope that Bordeaux Shaker also manifests itself at some point. If not, then I'm just going to come back here later. Gentlemen, I just recorded my first off-ride of the day here in front of Janssen's Speed XXL, which is a KMT Speed. This one is kind of notorious for being expensive and I checked on the price, it costs 7 euros for a ride cycle that lasts 2 and a half to 3 minutes, which is very lackluster in my opinion. I actually find it kind of a shame that I'm skipping one of these again, even though they extremely common. I actually kind of like KMG Speed, especially when they operated well, and there's a lot of variants. I still remember my ride that I had on Bruch's Fighter on the Pankirmes in Recklinghausen last year. I actually really enjoyed that ride on Fighter. Then came Cyber One in Ash, which was pretty bad because it also costs 8 euros. That one looks pretty nice and also doesn't seem to be operated that badly. But yeah, 7 euros for a 2.5 to 3 minute ride is, even though I'm very irresponsible with my money, that's even a bit too much for me. So I guess we're just going to go back and check up on Shaker again. Yeah. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it actually wants now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's already good. I can finally experience the sex party and all that myself. <laughs> I also gotta say just now, when it comes to looks, this one doesn't actually look that bad. In the uh, off-red video, it actually looks a little more like a mess. Yeah, I'm actually fine with how it looks. I like the hand paint the backdrop. Let's try it. Put a shaker and see how that goes. Here we go. Oh, okay. That is held in place solely by a single belt. Nice, what have I got myself into? The thing is that I'm held in place by a single belt. I can literally unlock it as we speak. That's it! Ah! Oh, it was hard to have a Let's go, let's go. Woo! 
I get that just straight out? I'm waiting for the first sound in the world. Oh, 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 oh. I literally don't vision. Holy smokes. Yes. Let's go. Oh, that's it. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Oh, my God. Let's go. No, no, no. That thing is so fucking powerful. This thing is fucking intense. And the only thing that prevents it from dying is a single strap. Hey, Luis, is always okay? Yes, I guess. Thomas, always okay? I guess. Now we're with you, Jack. Come on. I want to pull out so that I can sue you. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh my god! The thing is jumping my head off! very severely wrong with this ride because these restraints don't actually restraint they're literally just a loose over the shoulder thingy that is literally held in place by a single strap and that's it there's no ratcheting or hydraulic locking mechanism it's just that easily detachable car belt that essentially your whole life depends on and to top it off it's also so intense so it feels like your body's being ripped apart and when i had this like streak of flips i literally grayed out this ride is it really is a freak of nature i wasn't wrong but I can't say that it wasn't fun. But I feel like before doing it one more time, I should probably give it more report. So here we're passing right next to a children's ride that has moving hats and trance music playing on it. That's the one way you can do a children's ride. That's the Belgian way. I've seen this a few times already. As I said, Belgians set new standards and new dimensions when it comes to fun fairs. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. <laughs> But yeah, Belgian fun are fun. I always like visiting them. One thing that I found pretty sad about Shake is that I wasn't unfortunately able to get into or close to the sex party gondola. I really wish I could, really wish I could have gotten any clearer shot of the sex party gondola from the inside. But I mean, trust me, you can see it. It's there. It exists. The ride cycle also goes on for forever. I got like from the outside a proper 80 minute long ride cycle. That shows because I could barely stand after that ride. It's like a young It's like a sort of exposition where you have to wear classy outfits, which I don't think I do. So I guess hash cut. And we are already heading to the next ride, which is essentially the same thing, but with lifting gondola crosses and without inversions. This is Crazy Dance, owned by Tantillo and Sepieri, which are great names. This is a Sobema Crazy Dance, very similar to the Hobby Magic Dance, which I've already ridden a few times. But I think it's actually the better knockoff of the two. And it just seems to be better built overall. It also looks nice, so I I always wanted to ride one of those Sobimas. I think the best Sobima Crazy Dance out there is my favorite breakdance like him also for people here. But I have to get to Lil to ride that one. I have to stick around for this one for now. But it looks promising and yeah, I'm excited. Ah!
waiting in between you rides and usually I wouldn't mind except that I don't have the most time but uh, yeah regarding crazy dance it's a totally decent break dance ride it has its intense moments here and there but most of the time it's fine I'd say it's worse than the best rides I've had and I'm probably magic dance but it is definitely better than the most recent ride I had on the Poppy Magic Dance. Let's see how this is going to end up with the ranking. Here you've got a coaster count and uh, over there you have a Bidul, which I kind of want to do because I haven't done a Bidul in quite some time. Um, is that a Monster 2? I don't think that is a Monster 2. I think that is a backup volume that was modified to have spinning condolas. Over here you have a complete vacancy and solitude. There's literally no one here. Like, I can literally have a clear shot on this. Shuffers Techno Power. I can see that it has got new moving hands since last time I wrote it. I wrote that in the Ash 2. That ride was very, very weird because the restraint just left a lot of room and I kind of fell around, which wasn't very comfortable. I'm willing to give this one another shot. I really, really want to give this ride a chance to shine. I actually really want to like these remixes because, believe it or not, this one was actually my top one before. When I went in for the first time in 2017 in Ash, I really loved it and it ended up in my top one spot. So yeah, let's give this one another go. Please be good this time. Oh, let's go! <laughs> sliding around in your seats when the ride is turned upside down is apparently intentional. That does not bode well. I'm really not a fan of that. I think it's extremely uncomfortable. And if you are a man, it's equivalent to bisectomy, let's be honest. But I really love the rest of the ride. Whenever it spins up to the max and you feel the intensity of the rotation, that is really good and honestly really fun. Just when it turns all the way to the top, that is just, it hurts. I think what we need is just some padding on the seats that increases friction because in those seats you slip around the whole time. It's not nice falling forward every single time you do a rotation. Overall, mixed feelings, but I feel like it's definitely more good than bad. Okay, enough fooling around. Here it is, the highlight of today's visit. Look at it go. Uh, yeah. For those who have seen my vlog from the ish, you should remember this ride. This is a KNG Movement 32. I loved it the first time I rode it. And since then, I was able to ride what's basically the equivalent of this ride, which is a Moser Ride's top start to her. And now I wonder how these two rides are going to compare and which ones I'm going to prefer. So let's get into Movement and find out. But first, battery change. Ah! <laughs> Okay, I have to say, in comparison to a top star, the way you decide to start is hilarious. Wow. Oh, God! Holy smokes! Wow! Oh, this came out of nowhere! Wow! God, that's amazing! This is better. You feel the hang time so much more on this one. And it also rips you over with more force. I'm at the world of my restraints right now. Oh my god! Yeah! 
because this ride does so much more. The inverting rotation of the gondolas is faster, so it causes more whip. Also has a lot of intensity backwards. It's not as intense as it's on top side, where you literally can't breathe, but it's definitely noticeable and enjoyable. Because of the lower speed, it also has more hang time, which is something that completely lacks on top side. Also barely has any hang time because you are already pushed back into the seat. And I also like the beginning. The beginning is like really funky, the way you're just being tilted upwards. Is there anything else I want to say? Oh yeah, and the ride looks gorgeous. I was really glad to see the logo on the back to actually work again. That was the case and yet because I was still working on refurbishing it but yeah that ride is just gorgeous next is a ride that is probably going to kill me because I like killing myself especially my stomach you know how we kill our stomachs we ride swing rides this one in particular being a technical park street fighter it's like a freak out but sideways and kind of rounded looking I'm definitely looking forward to this one even though it's most likely going to kill me because the swing range is kind of tight so I think it's going to put more stress on my stomach anyway let's get in there before the ride starts and I miss it Oh, this chair, this seat are nice. I've had a great comfortable. Even without padding. <laughs> wow, the air time. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thirty minutes just for it to start, so I could record it from the outside. But anyway, how was Hokumongo? How are Street Fighters like? I actually really enjoy Street Fighters. They might actually be one of, if not my favorite type of swing ride at the moment. I don't find them very nauseating. At least I didn't find this one very nauseating. And it's very nicely designed. The seats are comfortable, and the restraints also allow you to have a lot of air time. Anyway, I got a little more time left, and during that time, I'm going to ride a bidul because I always wanted to ride a bidul. So let's take this time and actually finally ride a French slash Belgian type of music express. What does Bidul even mean? Like, I've never asked myself what Bidul actually meant. Whatever, let's get in there. Oh my
actually fun. Going forward was quite intense actually. Going backwards was less intense, but obviously more fun. But yeah, I enjoyed that ride. Yes, the king again. Oh man. With its backward fully lit up, this ride looks marvelous. Same. We're done now. That was the ears to my game is in Genk. How loud is your microphone set? I have to get back even further. I actually enjoyed that day, despite taking so much longer than it should have and being close to the bridge, waiting on top of waiting. The rides here were pretty nice. I think my highlights today from my experience were definitely Move It. Move It is just amazing. Okay. Probably the best ride here. The biggest surprise here was definitely Coco Bongo. And uh, the most intense ride, uh, definitely Bulldoze Shaker. I can't say that Bulldoze Shaker is bad. Just the strangest and sketchiest thing ever, but it's also kind of fun and I appreciate that it's intense. Hopefully this one won't come out two weeks after the fair has ended. But yeah, that was the game is in gang. I feel like that's the minimum time that I've said this up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.